Falernum is a wonderful aromatic elixir of lime, clove, ginger, and almond. The earliest known reference in bar manuals seems to be in the 1930s. But by all accounts, it was invented much earlier, the 1800s, in Barbados, and has become an essential ingredient for making all kinds of classic tiki drinks. You might wonder, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Falernum. How did it get its name? Well, legend has it, it was named after Falernum wine, which was much prized by the Romans. So the story goes, an old Roman farmer by the name of Falernus lived on the slopes of Mount Massico. That's north of Naples. One day, he was visited by a raggedy clothed, disheveled looking wanderer. It was Bacchus, the Roman god of agriculture, wine, and fertility. In disguise, of course. Falernus welcomed the traveler and offered him all that he had, milk, honey, and fruit. Bacchus was grateful for the hospitality and turned the milk into wine. After drinking copious amounts of the wine with dinner, Falernus fell asleep and woke up the next day, hungover, of course. <laughs> Bacchus was gone now, but he turned the whole mountainside into a beautiful, vast vineyard of healthy grapes. Another story is about a tourist in Barbados. After tasting Falernum, asks this old man, probably a bartender, how he made his delicious syrup. The old man replied, You have Falernum, man. <laughs> you have to learn it. So, that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to learn them how to make them this delicious sweet nectar of the gods. Okay, the first thing you want to do is prep. Prep all your ingredients. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, scraping off the zest of nine limes. It's a lot of limes, but it'll be worth it. You wait and see. And you don't want that white pith. You just want to be very gentle with this and get just the zest. Nine limes. So what I did is I took a three inch piece of fresh ginger and cut it up, skinned it, and uh, just made these wonderful julian slices. Yeah. So we've got our lime zest and our fresh ginger ready to go. First thing we do is grab some blanched slivered almonds and we want two tablespoons and we put her in our pot. Next we have cloves. Don't you love the smell of cloves? <laughs> Are you ready for this? We want 40. Okay, here we go. One, <laughs> two, Okay, let's turn on our stove. Yeah, we got fire. And you don't want this too, too hot. Just kind of a, a medium, medium heat. And we're just gonna dry roast the almond slivers and the cloves. Ooh, I can start to smell it, yeah. You gotta keep an eye on it because those almonds will just like blacken really, really fast if you don't. And that should take you about five minutes. I'm gonna just turn my stove off there, that's done. Nice and toasty. So you just want to take it off the stove for about three minutes, let her cool down. In the meantime, what we do is we grab a little non-reactive container here, a little glass jar, and we want to put our ginger in. Our lime zest. Oh, that's wonderful. Ginger and lime? How could you go wrong? I'm making a mess here. Okay, now we're gonna add our toasted almonds and our fresh cloves that have been roasted as well. Next thing we wanna do is grab some white rum. Now a lot of recipes out there call for 151 proof. Um, 
But really, is it necessary? What we want is three quarters of a cup. Or six ounces. Yeah, good. Pop a lid on. Give it a shake. Get all that going in there. All right, get that all nice and shook up there. Uh-huh, I'm all shook up. You gotta wait now for 24 hours. So uh, go pour yourself a drink. I'm going to. Well, it's been 24 hours now. And there's our mixture. It's gotten a little darker from when we first uh, made it. And what we're gonna do now is just uh, pop her into our little nut milk bag and strain her out. Yeah. Okay, we're in. Super. So, while this is um, dripping, what we've got is three quarter cups of warm water and a cup and a half of white sugar. And we're just gonna make our simple syrup this way. And you know, by doing it this way, as opposed to putting it on the stove, you're gonna end up with maybe a little less dense uh, simple syrup. And you just wanna shake this for about five minutes. Oh! <laughs> Lots of work to making this. But like I said, it's gonna be less dense than if you were to cook it, but it's gonna be fresher and crisper. It's been about five minutes now and it's looking pretty good. So what we wanna do now is we just wanna maybe squeeze this, get all the juice out. Oh yeah, looking good, baby. You could use a cheesecloth if you didn't have a, a nut milk bag. Uh, you could use paper towels. Right? But I'm liking this nut milk bag. It's pretty firm, looking good. Okay, so what we wanna do now is add this mix to our shaken simple syrup. Sweet. We're almost there, folks. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all those limes you zest it? Well, we're gonna put three tablespoons of lime juice into our syrup. What do you do with the rest? Now, I've already double strained this, so there's no lime pieces floating around. Huh. What do you do next? You make ice cubes. It's gonna make an awesome gin and tonic. Why not? This way we don't waste any. Unless you're planning on having, you know, cilantro, lime, shrimp on the barbecue tonight. <laughs> okay. One final ingredient. I've got some organic almond extract. And all we want is one quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, oh, that's starting to smell divine. Give her a good little shake again. And all we want to do now is just bottle it. Oh yeah, nectar of the gods. <laughs> oh, perfect, Brucey, yeah. Good I stopped when I did. They get a little extra. I'll just drink that later. I just put a cork in it. <laughs> put a cork in it. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Falernum syrup. Just keep it in your fridge and you should get about at least a month out of it. Maybe more. <sighs> you know what? We should try some. Oh yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. I've got them, I gotta have more. <laughs> yeah. I get the, uh, the ginger just like pokes its head right through there. There's a little almond thing going on. And, and the lime is kind of like, oh, there it is. 
The lime is there, but it's kind of like in the background too. So this is an awesome blend. Make some because, well, you're gonna love it. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.